It is 848, 79 degrees in Washington. We are in the kitchen with a great game time snack for your tailgate party today. With me, Mike Harris, oh. personal chef, right? And of course, I love this. Turn around, we got a show. What's the name of the place? Red Rose Catering. Red Rose Catering. Okay, today you're making, uh, it's not buffalo wings. Oh no, it's a nice twist on buffalo wings. Okay. I'm actually doing uh, uh, turkey bites. Turkey and then, bites. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing a buffalo soldier sauce. Okay. This is a, a great sauce of which you can prepare. Uh, people loved this. I, I made this the other day and people just loved it. Okay. So let's start. I'm Starting gonna start, with your baguette. Yeah, I'm going to start with my baguette. You can get your baguette at your local grocery store or whatever. You just want to slice your bag up, baguette up. Okay. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have this. You want to slice it into quarter inch slices. You'll probably get about 20 pieces per or so. Next, what you want to do is you want to start with your lean meat, your turkey lean meat. Just so lean ground turkey that we get in the grocery store. Lean ground turkey that you Perfect. get in the grocery That's store. That's healthy. Very, and very affordable because of the price of chicken wings have gone up so much. Oh. That this is a nice way to still get that uh, you know, your, your, your wings, but yet cut down. So it's a perfect okay. thing to do. So what you want to do is you want to use your turkey meat. And then what I have is I have cilantro and I have uh, parsley, right? And some cayenne pepper, right? Okay, toss it all in there. Yeah. And your little food processor. Yeah. Okay, it all goes in the food processor. It all goes in the food processor. So there's turkey, the cilantro, cilantro. and the other is parsley. parsley. Okay. And you can still use this if you want to, um, if you don't have a food processor, you can always either use, put on some gloves, use your hands, or you can even use like a, a KitchenAid and beat it with a paddle. Okay. Okay. Or you can get the stuff out of the little dried. Yeah. I know that's sacrilege. That's, I'm sorry. That sounds like spam to me. But. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then uh. when, last but not least, you're going to have eggs, right? So you want to. Couple put of in, eggs? Yeah, two eggs that you want to put in there. Kind of holds yeah. everything together. Yes, like exactly. Alrighty, and into just, the processor. And just pulse it up, like so. Very simple, you don't wanna beat it too much. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this mixture right here. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay. Right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sliced baguettes and we're just gonna spread, spoon, it, right yeah, on spread it right on. And the reason why I'm using a spoon instead of a knife is because what you wanna do is you wanna make sure it has a nice little slight peak if you use a knife, you kind of spread it a little bit too thin, and the spoon has a perfect curve for you. Thick in the center. Yes. So I'll do it one more. So. That just, smells good, too. Yeah, definitely. I guess that's all those fresh herbs. Yes, that indeed. I often get out of my glass bottles in the spice drawer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So once we have uh, it right on the baguette. Yep. And then you want to preheat. Deep fryer. Yeah, preheat your deep fryer. And, and you, you can just use a, a big uh, a saucepan with oil. Oh, yeah, with oil yeah, yeah. You okay. Can scale it with. And what you want to do, this is pretty cool, is that these, you don't have to worry about it actually, you know, putting it upside down. It'll automatically float. tip over and float. Oh, that is cool. See, I put it this way and eventually they'll, it'll, just, they'll just float over. Of course, and there's always one that doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Okay, so, so you throw them in there for how long? Uh, you want to keep this in there for about three to four minutes or so until they're nice and golden brown. What you're going to see is you're going to see your baguette, the, ba the bottom of the baguette is going to be golden brown, and then your top, once you take it out, it'll look like this. Okay. Right? Look at that. And what we're going to do is next is we're going to start on our sauce. Okay. We want, right. are we want to get started right now on the sauce, or shall we come back and do that? Oh, we can come back and do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's up to you. Oh, we can, we can come back and do it. Okay, very yeah. good. So um, we're back with, the, with this recipe in just a few moments, but if you want to get all of the uh, recipe um, ingredients, they're on our website right now at WUSA9.com. Just uh, click on recipes. You'll find it under the living section. Mike Harris is back with his fried turkey bites in just a moment. That healthy dish just got a little less healthy in the fryer. But it's football day, and it's a great tailgate uh, snack for the day. We're back in a moment. Stay with us. You're watching 9 News Now. Next week, so if you're not a summer weather fan, 
I just wait a couple of days. All right, Mike Harris is making turkey bites. We didn't give him a whole lot of time to make his hollandaise sauce, so we're going to just try it without. But if you want the recipe for the hollandaise sauce, it's on our website. Here you go, Tony. All right, so now, uh, Chef, mm. explain uh, what these are again, because I was actually doing weather stuff for you. Oh, uh, these right here are deep fried turkey bites. And deep fried turkey bites. Yes, I like that. Coming with a Buffalo Soldier hollandaise sauce. Outstanding. You yeah. know what? They're great, even without the sauce. You don't even need the sauce. So quit working Mike. so hard. Very good. <laughs> all right, terrific. All right, and these are on the uh, on the website, mm -hmm. uh, the recipe, and all of that. Hey, they don't look got too it. hard to make. You got to have a deep fryer at home, though, you probably, could do right? This. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. can do this at home. Oh, you I do it in a big you pot. Yeah. You don't know me very well. <laughs> <laughs> a big pot with oil on the stove top will work as well. There you right? go. You can do it that way. All right. Well, that'll do it for us. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Chef, Thank thanks for much. coming in. We're back later today. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. You're watching Nine News now. We'll see you at six thirty. Stay cool. We'll see you after the game. Eleven o'clock tonight. That's right. Have a turkey.